Um, I had a chance to spend a year there and doing everything from being Mr. David to a class of third grade immigrant kids who are learning English while they're about to take the first test all the way up through high school and uh, the politics of the school system and the management of the school system. I had a passport to go every place and it was a really powerful experience for me because you know, I got to see what education is like you know, as close up as can be, not just at the policy level but right there on the ground. And those kids and those teachers are going to be in my life for a good long time. 25 years ago, the Union City Schools were so bad that the state was about to take them over. And slowly over those years, it's built a system based on some pretty familiar game changers, known to researchers, known to any educator with a pulse, um, and put them together in a system. So you get, for example, really good preschool for three-year-olds and four-year-olds. You get a great bilingual program, which you need because most of these kids come from homes where Spanish is the language at the dinner table and football is what's on TV, not football. Um, and kids learn, become fluent in their own language. Um, good readers and writers before they then transition to English, so they've got the grounding in their native tongue. Um, it's a very literature-soaked, word-soaked environment because a lot of these kids are coming from places where there just aren't a lot of books around the house and you've got parents too busy to, to read to them. So there's, the schools are filling in. You get a lot of support for the teachers, coaches, mentors, help for struggling teachers. You've got a lot of assessments of the students so that you can pinpoint where they've got problems, help them out. You've got an administration that leads by enthusiasm, that's building a system, it's taking a bunch of separate schools and having them going in the same direction.